twenty percent dogs, even the most fussy dogs, with, with things in a fun way, then they're inclined to eat or drink them, especially if they have their pup pals around and they're all doing it. especially with problems at the moment with separation anxiety being an issue for people who have welcomed dogs into their lives when um, in the middle of a pandemic. It becomes all the more necessary to work out a way whereby you're not unsettling your pup and that may be by incrementally leaving them at home on their own but also finding spaces where you can go to together. some lovely teas as well so we have fish island rice tea for instance which is just for dogs and that's got things like dandelion and burdock in which are good for their gut and good for their overall health so it's about well-being and health as well as just a lot of fun I have never been to anywhere like this before. The fact that the snacks are allowed to be eaten by both dogs and humans is like well we share our food anyway but um, um, yeah, I absolutely like it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of cocktails and also it's so nice to be able to bring him along and know that he can enjoy himself in a relaxed atmosphere.